The Oztent Malamu TP9 is set up behind me here. It is a classic, simple TP style tent, and I'm gonna take you for a walkthrough. Let's check it out. Hit it. Hey folks, Ben from Snowy's here today. We're down at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park in Adelaide today. Beautiful sunny day and I've got the Oztent Malamu TP9 set up behind me here. And I want to take you for a walkthrough. Benefits of this tent is that it only weighs about 10 kilos all packed up and it only measures about 80 centimeters in length by 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. So it's gonna fit in just about any vehicle, easy to handle, easy to set up. And it does sleep up to nine, pretty squeezy, but it's a great family camping option. I'll start telling you about all the features. Before I jump inside, I wanna have a walk around the outside and show you all the windows. So coming around this way first, we come to the first of three windows. Now this one is opened at the top completely. This storm flap is rolled up and secured at the top. You see there's a mesh panel here and there's a PVC panel underneath. Now we can set this window up slightly differently. If we keep moving around the back of the tent here, we've got a plain wall and a second window here, which I've got set up in its sort of half rolled up section. So there is still a mesh panel at the top here, same as the other window, but there are tabs halfway up this storm flap that allow us to secure it here. So the rain doesn't get in this PVC panel here. We're letting light in, keeping the rain out. And lastly, you can close it up completely. If we keep moving around, got another solid wall here. And then we've got our third window here, which I've got secured completely closed with the storm flap. There's a Velcro tab at the bottom here to stop the weather getting in. Last feature on the outside are the, the vents that I'll show you at the top here. From the side you're on there, you can see two vents, one on each side. You can't close them. They stay open. It's too tall to reach them anyway. And there's another vent at the rear of that as well. They stay open, um, so you've got ventilation all the time. The last feature on the outside, which will lead us to the inside, is the door. Now we've got a single zip that runs up here. It's a T-style door. So if we zip this open, now this is, given the design of this tent, it is hard to reach the top of the zip here. You kind of need to unzip the inner and step inside to get that undone all the way. Before I do that, I just want to show you the fabrics on the tent now. now this um, material is 190T polyester. It's 100% waterproof and it's seam sealed throughout. At the base of the tent is a polyethylene floor, a tarp style floor. This gives plenty of durability and lots of waterproof properties, or it is a completely waterproof barrier. And the doors and those little panels in the windows are this insect proof mesh here. Now I'll just touch on the design of the tent a little bit. It is a single skin tent. This door section here is the only point at where there's two layers of tent with a mesh panel on the inside and a fabric panel on the outside. It comes down to a skirt that runs over the top of the join at the floor here to protect or to make sure the water runs over and away from this joint so you don't get any seepage. But being a single skin tent, it is really important that you use as much ventilation as you can so you don't get condensation inside. The benefits are that it packs up nice and small and sets up really easily. Let's undo these doors and we'll step inside the tent. Now these doors, as we step inside, we'll unzip this right to the very top here. Now these can be rolled away to the side here. There are tabs to roll them either both together or independently, if we like. So we've got a tab in the middle here to secure the outer door and another tab inside here so we can also roll back the mesh door. And now this can be done on both sides of the tent to create a nice big opening here to allow plenty of access or unimpeded access inside the tent. So I can actually roll this one up together if I like for a nice quick way to get the door out the way. Now as we step inside the tent here, the first thing I want to show you are the poles. Now the poles run up the side here, so there's no two there's no center pole in this tent here. Now this is a 25 millimeter steel pole that finishes at the top to support the tent. Most of the way up the pole here, you've got a little metal loop here that also features on the opposite side. You can use that to hang a lantern from or even to string a small clothesline in between if you like. That obviously goes up to a peak at the top there where there's a pocket that the pole sits in. You can see the three vents around there. At the very peak there, it's 280 centimetres in height. So there's plenty of head space in the middle. I'm 185 centimetres. If I move to the side here, I'm probably roughly or just less than halfway between the centre and the very side of the tent there. And my head is just touching the side, but certainly lots of room to stand up in the middle here. As we move down the tent, you can see we've got the three windows that we looked at from the outside there on opposite corners of the tent. So we've got lots of cross ventilation and we've also got couple of storage options here. There's three points at where there are storage pockets divided in two. So there's a mesh pocket here, one on the opposite side, and also one back at the rear here. 
In terms of uh, floor space inside the tent here, now Oz Tent's dimensions say 440 centimeters by 440 centimeters. Now I'm pretty sure they must be talking point to point for that because I measured about 420 from flat side to, well, from, from this back end here to that front end there. It depends how you measure it. Being a hexagon, you could get various measurements. So to give you a good idea of how you might be able to use the space, because to fit nine people in here is going to be squeezy. It's probably more realistic that you might fit, say, a family of four. But I've got some air beds that I'm going to throw in, see how I might be able to configure them so you can see how you can use the space. Now, this is really cool. I've shuffled these around a little bit to find what might be the best sort of format. So I've got a double high queen air bed at the rear here. This is about 200 centimeters long, 150 centimeters in width, and two XL single air beds in here as well. And they're about 190 centimeters in length and about a meter in width. Now, how good is this? I, the, um, I, my kids love this setup because you've got this central area here. The kids can sleep each side here. Mum and dad at the rear. The people who are at the sides are going to be close to the walls, but it's a really communal to sort of a setup. Um, you're not walking over each other's beds to get in and out the tent. I reckon it's a great fun setup. Now, Oz tent do say it sleeps up to nine. I guess you could sleep nine people in here. You're probably going to have to be small mats and it's going to be a little bit of top and tail and no sort of real structure. Be too squeezy, but I reckon for a family camping tent of four, this is an awesome setup. I reckon this is the perfect fun family camping tent. It's compact to fit in your car, reasonably easy to set up. There's not much that's going to break on it. It's sturdy once it's all pitched and it's just got that great fun communal area inside there. I reckon it's great. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. Got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel, you'll get all of our latest information or if you want to check out some other Oztent products, try this video down here.